I'm interested in selling some Dennis Rodman jerseys. They're all game worn. All right, you got the Bulls jersey. I got Pistons. Oh, the bad boys. That was the bad boy that's team. That's the original. That's yeah. his very first. And I got a Mavericks. That's. How did you get these? I was once married to Dennis. Whoa. Dennis Rodman is the best rebounder ever in the NBA. Being a basketball wife, I did not fit the mold. But being married to Dennis, I did enjoy. We have a daughter together. I'm hoping to get about eight to 10 grand for the whole group. I'm selling the jerseys today because I'm paying for my daughter's tuition. Our marriage didn't last long, maybe three years. So a total of nine years. Some people think of, of him as a bad boy dressed in drag with bright green hair and some people remember him as a basketball player. And that's that's what he was. That's what I remember him as. That's what I remember him, too, as yeah. a basketball player. I mean, yeah, hard worker, came cool. from nothing. Rodman gets a lot of attention for the crazy things he does off the court. But he was an awesome player. Two NBA championships with the Pistons, three with the Chicago Bulls. Sure, Jordan led the Bulls to victory, but Rodman fought in the heat of the battle, stealing those rebounds out of everyone's hand. So this says... Dennis Worm, because he used to go by Worm. Look at that. He could have been battling Jordan when he was wearing this one. You never know. Yeah, Larry Bird, too. <laughs> this one has actually sweat. This was right after he took it off. Must have been a pretty brutal game. Yeah, I mean, look at there's that. Isn't that stains crazy? all over it. I know he wasn't eating hot dogs no, inside the No, no, so. no. This is the one that's signed to his daughter. It says, to Alexis. Love you always. So this stuff's pretty cool. What exactly do you want to do with it? I want to sell it. I'd like to get a grand for the Mavericks, at least. The Pistons is the number one seller. They're going up to 3,900. Chicago Bulls, between 3,500 and 3,900. That's quite a lot of money, so I'm going to call in a friend of mine, Jeremy. Cool, yeah. yeah. Wow. No player in the history of the NBA has been the center of more controversy than Dennis Rodman. On the court, he was a fierce rebounder and a, a perfect defender, best at his time. He had five NBA championships, seven rebounding titles. He was Defensive Player of the Year twice, and he's the all-time uh, NBA leader in rebounding percentage. And don't forget Hall of Fame. And he's a member of the Hall of Fame, absolutely. But then on the flip side, he also headbutted a referee, kicked a cameraman in the junk, got fined for about a million bucks, and even wrestled Hulk Hogan during the 98 Finals. Dennis Rodman is quite possibly the best defender and rebounder the game's ever seen. Since he's still in the public spotlight, he has a good following. And all of his antics actually help the value of some of his items. We're going to start with the Mavericks jersey here. Now, as far as all the teams he played for, the Mavericks would probably be the least popular. Since he only played 12 games, he was ejected twice. But we have uh, Pistons 10, and we have Dennis Worm, Rodman. Seeing Worm, which is his nickname, is really cool. That's very uncommon on a lot of his items. All right, so we saved the best for last, the Bulls, one of the most popular teams in the NBA. Three championships won with them. In 96, when he wore this jersey, it was Robin's best season as a Bull. He averaged over 16 rebounds a game. Every year he was there, he won a championship, so it's a championship jersey as well. Bulls are one of the most popular teams in NBA history, and anything tied to a period where Michael Jordan played is always going to have a premium to it. Now, when we're talking about this signed Bulls jersey, we're talking about a one of a kind. With the game use aspect of it, plus the known inscription, this one could be worth the most. As a collection, though, altogether, uh, I would say you're looking at around $6,500 with okay. quite an upside to it. Yeah. All right, well, All thanks right, for Tom. coming in. You got it, man. So what do you want for these? No, I know the appraisal was $6,500, which sounded like a good price. OK, well, here's where I stand. As cool as this is, written out to your daughter's name, it's a lot harder to sell. This is just a game-worn jersey. This is going to be easy to sell. The other two are going to be easy to sell as well. Unfortunately, they're not going to be easy to sell like this. I'm going to have to get them framed, and I'm going to have to display them. After me framing them and putting them on here and paying someone to sell them, we're looking more like the $3,500 range. That doesn't sound like a lot. Would you do 45 without the Mavericks? 35 is, is pretty much where I'm at. How about 4300 and everything? You know what? I can't see passing this deal up. My boss is probably going to kill me, but I think we got a deal. Cool. All right, deal. Cool. $4,300 was a little low, but I don't have time to sell them online. It's a fair price. It's going to help out with my daughter's tuition. I'm really happy about that. 
Wow. This thing is nice. This is a cash me out. This is like one of the holy grails of American coins. I'll do 95 and that's it. No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to take it home.